So how are you, George? I'm very good. I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Was it easy for all of you to wear those, <laughs> the clothes and have long hair in the series? The thing that I loved as well is how literal the costume department took the title William of Orange and were like, he must wear orange, <laughs> always. It's like, o orange is a colour, is his name, like, just meant orange, why not? Did you keep any of your outfits or prop as a souvenir? No, I, there was a, like a portrait done of me by like a actual portrait painter which was like a fucking massive thing like 10 foot tall and it's, it's in a scene and i'm like standing for it and afterwards i was like is, where's this gonna go like can i have this like it is going to be yeah we don't we don't know and then yeah then now it's just like no one has any idea it, it must exist somewhere <laughs> find the portrait just hang it above my bed have you done a bit of research on william of orange for the role yeah yeah that was that's the best thing about playing historical figures. Like, I love history anyway. Um, and I didn't even know him as William of Orange. I kind of knew him as William the uh, Third. But being able to like actually reference stories and, and the history is really like appeals to the geek in me. So that was really cool. And there's some really good stuff out there because he was such like a important historical figure. There's so much stuff out there. you could never like read all of it. So. I think it's about kind of like going through and finding the bits that resonate with you. And I remember that there's one bit in a book that I read that's saying a story about like how he was sitting on his uncle's knee in a carriage in between palaces or something. And just that image of like, like this king, this guy who like fucking conquered half of Europe sitting on his uncle's knee at some point. I'm like, oh my God, like he's a real, he's a real guy. Do you know what I mean? Like it's really easy to think of them as like superheroes or something. Real guy that sat on his uncle's knee just like anybody does. And so that, that really helped ground it. Good question. Are there any movie, books, or music albums that you can watch, read, or listen to over and over without getting tired of it? Um, movies, yeah, yeah, right. The Mask of Zorro. Let's just talk about this for a second. One, one of the best movies of all time. I will hear nothing else. It's a film I could put on whenever and just watch it. Um, music, yeah, I suppose. Any John Mayer record? I'm a big John Mayer fan, so like any of his stuff. But yeah, I've never reread a book. Ever. If there is something about your characters that you can stand, that you really dislike about your characters, like personality wise, I think like maybe not in the writing of it. He was a bit of a prick, but in history, like I think he owned loads of plantations and slaves and stuff like that. So, but I think it's hard to kind of judge people by our morals to what they were back in the day. Sure. Um, and he believed in this, in this like kind of divine destiny that literally gave him this confidence that was like, I'm destined to rule Europe or to, to take over this country. Yeah. Like, I, I know I'm going to do it. Um, which it probably isn't a nice trait. Um, but I suppose it gave him the strength to do what he did. Would you want to go back if seasons four happened? Yeah, and obviously, I, I would love some work. So I thought I'd be back for season three. I thought they might have explored, like, the war a bit more that goes on between Louis and William. Um, but I think they're so rife for, st for some really good storytelling that it was a bit of a shame that it wasn't explored. I understand why it wasn't, because there was the story was the sign to fit that in wouldn't have worked. But I think if you then expanded it to four or five, then you could have delved back into that and sort of seen how that played out. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, even when I was filming season one, like, I had like one scene in the first season, and you just had this feeling on set that everybody was getting on. So even from the crew to the meeting all the all the guys in costume and stuff like that, were just all such a good tight family already that I'm sure that all of them would want to come back at the drop of a hat. Which scenes did you prefer filming? Obviously, most of my stuff was in season two, so that's an easy answer for me. Um, and like specifically in that, there was there's one scene where we had that kind of like battle that takes place that then ends up 
with Louis in a ditch. Oh, yeah. I sit on a horse, um, which is like the Mercedes Benz of horses. This horse would literally stand on a 50p piece if you asked it to. Uh, and there was like all these guys behind me, and I was like leading this army. What was your favorite location to shoot in? It's surprising how much of it, even myself, was on location. Again, I, I couldn't remember it if someone told me the name of this place. Mm -hmm. Banquet, well, it's not really Banquet, the dinner that I have with, with Louis and the battle were all filmed in the same area. And it was just, I like sometimes you can go to a place and look at somewhere and you can't see any kind of modern touch on it. You don't see like a telephone line or a phone book. You can just get this viewpoint of just what it might have looked like 500 years ago. Um, and that, yeah, every, every time I was coming over to Paris, it was like, right, we're going to drive you three hours to this random place and it's going to blow your brains out. So if your character were alive today, what do you think they'd be doing? I think, I think William would just be a, he'd be a politician um, and probably quite similar to Boris Johnson in the way that I think Boris has that kind of divine belief that he was just going to be prime minister and that dogged determination unfortunately got him there. Um, I think, yeah, I think William would probably be doing the same, the same thing in the same way. Um, do you have a favorite Shakespeare character that you would love to play? I, do, I would say, I'll just say Romeo because I know that name. If you could play any other character in Versailles, who would it be? I, I, I would just, I would say Louis purely for, again, the kind of historical research of that I think would be really, really fun because again, there's so much there to kind of pick and choose how you would, play. I think George absolutely smashed it and had a completely unique and correct interpretation that I don't think I would have ever come up with. So he absolutely blew, blew it out of the water, but the actual research and doing all that fun stuff would have been really, really fun for, for Louis, I think. Is there any current TV show that you would like to play in? I was going to say the, the Mandalorian, the new Star Wars show on Disney Plus. Like they, I know they're doing season two and three of that. I think they've been confirmed. I'd love to play in that world more than anything Star else. Wars, Lightsaber over there. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I, that, I would love to be a part of that, definitely. Uh, do you have any passions besides acting? Uh, uh, writing, I suppose. Um, I've been, I kind of got annoyed with the amount of scripts I was writing that I knew would never very likely get made or bought. Because it's a blueprint, it doesn't really stand by its, as its own thing. So for the past three years, I've been learning how to write prose and how to, I'm going to try and write a novel. Um, so I've been banging on that door for like three years that, any downtime I get, I'm either reading or reading about writing or writing. Um, so, yeah, maybe one day a novel will fall out of me, but... You miss filming Versailles, and what do you miss most about this, about this show? So it's, it's different for me because I had very few scenes in total and very few scenes of anyone that wasn't George. Um, so I suppose I miss the fact that I never had that experience, if you can miss something that you never had. I don't know. But also... I suppose you miss the potential of where they might take your character. There's when, once the scripts have come in and you've seen that kind of play out, there's an excitement about, Oh, what are they going to make me do in the next season? Or, uh, and yeah, you can kind of like roommate on that for a couple of months before the storylines start coming in again. And that's quite a fun experience. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely miss that.